Hello. How are we doing today? Just watched a video from PNP News. It's really kind of depressing that uh, old Beta Steve is so desperate to cling to his narrative. He is uh, he's trying to make it out that Joe Gamaldi, the president of the Houston Police Officers Union, has so much control that he is able to time travel back to October, November of 2017 and incite the Deer Park Police Department, not the Houston Police Department, but the Deer Park Police Department, into starting an investigation into Earl. And even better, he's able to, Joe Gamaldi is able to time travel back to somewhere around 90, December of 96, January of 97. And he's able to make Earl stick fingers, maybe other things, who knows, into his daughters. Joe Gamaldi is quite the bogeyman in Beta Steve's eyes. I'm sure Beta Steve just cries himself to sleep, th sucking his thumb, thinking about the big bad Joe Gamaldi who's coming to get him. Well, here's a fun fact. Joe Gamaldi doesn't have any power over Houston PD. He may have some sway over officers in Houston PD, but he doesn't have any power in the Houston PD. And he certainly has no power in the Deer Park PD. And it is not retaliation on Earl for his First Amendment protected activities, because if you may remember, Earl came to the attention of Deer Park PD back in October, November, somewhere back in there, of 2017, when he audited a Shell station to see if Shell respected his First Amendment rights. Because Shell is obviously the government. And that was what got Deer Park investigating Earl. That was the impetus that they found these allegations in the past and they followed up on them as a good police department should. And they found that Earl, that Earl's daughters were in fact prepared to testify against him. Now you may also remember that back in October, November of 2017, the Bato Sai audited Shell and also got arrested in Deer Park for auditing the Shell. And strangely enough, you may notice, strangely enough, there have been no allegations of rape levied against the Bato Sai. Fancy that! Fancy that! What possibly could be the difference between the Bato Sai and Earl? Uh, here's a hint. Philip never raped his daughters. That's the difference. Nothing to do with the First Amendment. Both were First Amendment auditors. Both were out there exercising their First Amendment rights. Both were arrested in front of that shell station. It is not Joe Gamaldi. Beta Steve, it is not Joe Gamaldi. It is not retaliation for First Amendment protected activities. It is a known rapist who has had new rape allegations leveled at him. His daughters are now willing to testify. Justice may be brought. And you accuse people who aren't supporting Dave of showing their true colors. Well, you know what? You are showing your true colors, sir. You know, it's, it's one thing. It is one thing to say, you know, I'm just going to back out of this until I see which way this is going to go. 
that's one thing is I mean it's not a very strong position it's it's a position that I would expect Beta Steve to take but Beta Steve is so far under Earl's sway that Beta Steve has different kinds of dreams about Earl than he has about Joe Grimaldi But to just flat out deny the allegations, to suggest that somehow you know that Earl didn't do them, and that you know it's just retaliation, that's, that's something. I mean, that's saying a lot about you, Beta Steve. I'm, I'm glad you found your backbone. Weird timing for it, though. Anyways, I've rambled enough, or I guess I've jived enough. Thanks for watching. Have a great morning.